Hello guys, welcome to Linux Tech Tips, and today we are be we are going to be doing a video on how to have one file across all your multi-booted systems on a computer. If you have a multi-boot system on your computer, two operating systems, three, four, five, six, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um this is how you can access one file on all operating systems without putting it on a flash drive and moving it and copying it to every single operating system you have. The answer is an SD card, alright? So I got this 16 gigabyte SD card right here and I'm gonna put it in my computer and we're gonna format it for use across all operating systems. This is how we're gonna do it. So, if you have a multi-booted system, I'm going to assume that you have at least one Linux distribution on your computer, which you should, because in, in my opinion, a multi-boot isn't complete without a Linux distribution. Anyway, so, um, we're gonna plug in our SD card. Okay, plugged in. Now, what we're going to do is format it. So we're going to open Gparted if you're in Linux. I highly recommend doing this from a Linux system. I'm using Linux Mint. Just a minute. Look away. All right, so it will ask you for a password, and I just entered it. And, oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna give it a minute to do its thing. It's gonna load for about a minute. Maybe faster or slower on your computer, depending on how much partitions you have. Oh, we're here. Okay, so. You may show up with a drive looking like this. If you have a multi-booted system, almost, you almost definitely, this is your hard drive. If you have a multi-booted system, you're almost definitely going to have multiple partitions. If you do not want to mess anything up, get out of that drive. So, it's usually going to be something like dev... M M C B L K O. It's not going to be dev S D A something. At least that's how it comes up on my computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to click unmount. So that will unmount it. Now it's going to reload. Because we can't format it while it's mounted. Otherwise, it will give you an error saying you have to unmount it. Okay, here we are. Now we are going to click it. And you see this little trash can button right here. We're going to click it. Now it's going to be all gray. Nothing's there. This is not how we get it formatted. We now have to make a new partition. So we're going to click on new, and we are going to do not use an ext4, we are going to use the FAT32 file system, and click add. And now we're going to do the check mark, apply all pending operations, apply. If you, if you followed my instructions and you didn't do anything to your hard drive, this shouldn't be a problem, it shouldn't cause any problems. All right, all our pending operations are completed. So we're going to close out. Just gonna load again. Load, 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 load. This will be the last time, though.
should be done. Okay, and we're done. So we are going to exit out, and now we are going to test. We're going to open our file explorer. This should work from any operating system. We are going to go into devices, and we are going to scroll down to 16 gigabyte drive. It should look like a flash drive, or I should say flash drive, or SD card, or... Blah, blah, blah. And we're here. So now we can drag and drop any file into this area right here and view it from any operating system on our computer. And that is how it's done. Thank That is how it's done. Thank you so much for watching Linux Tech Tips. Until next time.